So, a few days ago, something happened. I had a little disagreement with my wife. And um, let me tell you what. Can I even tell you what happened? I'm not sure I want to tell them what happened. A lot of persons have not subscribed and I will be putting my story out there. <laughs> well, I think some, some people have subscribed, so uh, they deserve to know what happened. Uh, Alright, so we went outside to get some things. By the way, this is just a video. This is a train. This is not the event that happened. We went outside to buy some things and along the way there was a little disagreement on the stuffs we wanted to buy and um, while i was trying to convince her i found out that my the volume of my voice was going up and it was rising and rising and at, after a while she just stopped speaking and um, i felt okay maybe i had finally convinced her so i was like oh good happy but then when she stayed in talk after a while i now had to ask her that hey babe come on what's happening then she she didn't she didn't talk she was still quiet then i tried to ask her again that what is happening then she now said in a low voice that you were shouting of me <laughs> all right but sincerely with all sincerity i didn't mean to shout and um, I see this happening a lot of times in many relationships. A lot of men, uh, they don't intend to hurt their wives, but then they shout at their wives without knowing. And the wives too, they feel that the man, uh, they feel the husband does not really value them, does not really... Um, give any respect or honor to them that they, they don't mean they are not worth much to the man and that is why he is shouting at them anyhow and some women too still shout at men all right so in today we're going to talk more about this don't go away okay so you're welcome once again ladies and gentlemen this is mr and mrs v yeah my name is joy and this is my husband mr v victor oh my god <laughs> Mr. V, please let's run. My name is Mr. V. <laughs> My name is Mrs. V, Mr. V. Oh, yeah. So today we are talking about a controversial topic. Is it controversial? Well, I believe it is. Please, I don't want trouble. Please, you people. Uh, I, I'm not the one that said controversial. We are talking about honor, the power of honor in relationships. I believe it's controversial because people have different definitions of what honor is, you know. And um, people feel, some people feel we take we take it to the extreme, you know. People we just have different ideas of <laughs> what honor is in relationships and mm. marriage, you know. So we want to talk a little about it today. All right, we all know what honor is. Everybody wants to be honored. If you don't know what honor is, if someone asks that, can I dishonor you? I'm sure your answer will be no. Know. Uh, nobody wants to be dishonored. That means we all know what honor is. And um, let's take for instance the word honorarium. It is something that we give to someone all right, that you don't want to pay for the service. So it's like a way of showing appreciation to someone. And regards. And regards to someone. All right, so everybody wants to feel honored. I notice too that in relationships, you know, when a man and a woman just meet, you know, mm -hmm the the admiration they have for themselves if they truly like themselves or not when mr a likes mrs b but mrs b has other people that you know those kind of relationships all right but when two people that like themselves when they initially meet their admiration for each other is usually high there right? but then as their familiarity increases there's something that happens they admiration and the regards that they have for themselves mm, it starts falling possibly but not in all cases in some cases the admiration starts going down why is it going down because the more you get closer to someone the more stuff you know about the person all right and the more stuff you know about the person the lesser 
you know, yeah. you get to know the person's weaknesses. Mm. Maybe before you thought the person is an angel that doesn't that doesn't do any anything that human beings that do. Doesn't <laughs> that doesn't snow. But now you now find out that this guy does not does not just snow, but his snow competes with the sound of a train and all that <laughs> what we're trying to say is that you get to know the ups and the downs of the person and the more you tend to be to feel um, irritated by the downs of the person the more tendency you the more tendency there is that you feel less honor for such person so it is quite important to know the power of honor in your relationship what it does to the person and what it does to you and then um, how to rightly give it but well, basically i believe you get the best out of someone when you honor the person and it goes both ways you know mm. when the we when the subject of honor comes comes to the table people used to feel well it's the lady that's to honor the man you yes know? yes <laughs> But I yes. actually what? believe it. It's both ways. <laughs> it's both ways, you know. Apart, apart from the fact that okay, I'm a lady, is a man. We are two different individuals, mm. and we deserve to be honoured. Okay. So. So before we talk about what honour actually is, maybe we should talk about what examples of common things that people do that makes others feel dishonoured, right? Okay. okay. So, for instance, for guys, one of the things that I've seen that makes guys feel quite dishonored is maybe when a lady uh, tells a man that you need to man up you need to be a man you understand well maybe if a man tells a man that you need to be a man of course you say ah guy which, what do you mean you know but when a lady tells a man that he needs to be a man well for some men they might just laugh over it and but for some others it's it might just be silent about it all right so it necessarily doesn't have to be that exact exact words, words but expressions that make makes a man feel, feel less, less of a man and um, for ladies for me for instance you know i believe that um or i feel dishonored when i'm belittled when i when just because i'm a woman you know, when you make me feel like, well, you don't really have a say. You, mm. you don't have anything to contribute because you're a woman. Even when you're trying to um, contribute your own part as a woman, and, and as a woman, but you are not being heard. Mm. That's that's actually maybe the maybe, maybe the woman will need to get a mic so that you can be heard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the microphone. All right, I was I was talking about something the other time about a disagreement that we had. It was actually yesterday. We went outside to, in we just strolled out in the night to get some stuffs and um, on our way back, I don't know exactly what it was. I think she wanted to buy something, and um, I think she asked for my opinion of that thing, and I said, okay, we can get a better one elsewhere, All right? But to get that better one, it was going to take probably longer time and all that, and. The way I said it, as I was saying it, she was the one that said it though, I didn't say it. As I was saying it, my voice was going like up and then um, she just kept quiet. And I was like, hey, babe, what's up? Why, why are you ex quiet and all that? He just said, you're raising your voice. And I'm like, oh really? I'm sorry. That is the voice that was going on by itself. I, you know, I believe that that's something that she doesn't like. Do you like it? Yeah, I like. <laughs> All right. So I I don't think I like it as well. So that's like one of the common ways. I don't know if you guys like it. If you like it, you can. <laughs> I mean, I mean, of course, ladies won't like a guy raise their voice. You can't tell. Them. You can't tell. Yeah. We shouldn't generalize. Okay. Alright, I think in, in another video we're going to talk about cultural um, uniqueness of people and how it impacts what they perceive as honor and dishonor. You know, in some cultures, they greet themselves with loud language. <laughs> if you don't shout, you are not honoring. <laughs> Alright. I don't know about that culture. Which All right. culture is we'll talk, I, will, I will talk about it in the next video. Alright, so 
uh that's like a typical example yeah yeah so <laughs> i had to later on i had to let her know that okay that was that wasn't intentional and then um, i was raising my voice so that she can feel the huskiness of my voice <laughs> And I'm just joking. So that's a, like an example of what people don't like. So we quickly talk about what honor actually is. So no, it's not about the volume of your voice. Actually, there are some times that she even wants me to raise my voice just at that time because it wasn't in favor of what we we're talking about and all that, right? When do I want you to raise my voice? Like now, if I want to say I love you, <laughs> you don't want me to say it loud. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so what is honor, right? Yeah. Well, honor is um, giving someone great respect. Mm. Giving someone great respect because the person is um, special to you. Let me put it in simple terms. You know, as, as, as let me, for instance, in marriage, you know, as husbands and wife, your mm. husband is separate unto you, your wife is separate unto you, is um, set apart unto you and it deserves um, a form of honor because it's separate and holy unto you, mm. you know. So I believe that sums up the word reverence. Mm. Then in addition, I, 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 I believe that um, honor goes both ways, even though in some cultures they tend to emphasize on the need of for the woman to honor the man, right? But then uh, there is actually a balance to that, right? So while the man is like the leader of the home, the head of the home, right? Uh, the Bible also advised the men or instructed the man that husband should honor their wives, knowing that they are weaker vessels, right? And they should treat them. Um, with care. care, yes, with care. So there's a way women, or there's a way a man should treat his wife, and that's the way of honor. Then the same thing also applies to the wife too. Of course, when she's relating with a man, I remember the book on um, love and respect. All right, while the woman sees love, all right, what the man sees is not just love. I, sometimes when my wife tells me I love you, I say what. Well, you are the one that really feels it when I say that, right? What a man really feels a lot of time as love is honor and respect. Then, so the Bible summarized it by saying that marriage is honorable. Yeah. Yeah. So it means that marriage itself is honorable, and the more you dishonor, you 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 encourage dishonor in your marriage, either from the man to the woman or from the woman to the man, the more you lose the essence of the marriage. Wow. Are you sure as well? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, aww. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we're going to end for today's yes. session. Alright, but um, what do you consider as honor? Alright, and what do you consider as dishonor? You can drop your view in the comment today. section. And if you have not subscribed, now I've shared my personal gist with you. I believe you are friends. So kindly. <laughs> Kindly drop your like and your subscribe and your drop your like, <laughs> subscribe, like this video and share this video and please don't forget to click that notification button. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, thank you. So till we see you again. <laughs> it's Mr. And Mrs. V signing out. All right. Thank you. Bye.